Lee the Dispatcher is tasked to pilot a new service in her territory this week, complex installations that require the coordination of multiple mobile resources, in other words, a crew. So far, Field Service Lightning allowed assignment of one resource to one service appointment. The new service requires a crew of three. This is why she's particularly excited about the Spring 18 managed package of Field Service Lightning, which brings the standard crew objects to life with exciting functionality. Lee decides to test the recent configuration she and her admin performed. She first selects to view crews only. The pilot crew is shown, and she spots the test work order scheduled earlier. Lee applies the Show All filter. In addition to her contractor and individual resources, she now clearly sees the crew and its team members. Lee spots with an ease that Louise will replace Paul on Friday. Lee quickly creates a few more work orders and tests the automatic scheduling capability. Lee noticed that several service appointments didn't get scheduled even though the crew is still available on Friday. She manually drags and drops a service appointments from the list view and gets a rule violation. It appears that a skill is missing. Lee knows the system is configured to consider service resource member skills and decides to look into who's missing the skill. The only change on Friday is Louise, who replaced Paul. She checks her profile and sure enough, she's missing the skill. Lee was there when Louise received the certification and so she quickly updates her profile. Back on the Gantt and sure enough, the rule violation is gone. Rest of the service appointments can now be scheduled. Enthusiastic about what she saw, Lee reports the system is capable and ready to support the complex crew requirement. Together with her administrator, Lee first creates a new work type and indicates in a newly available field the minimum number of required resources to handle the job, three. Lee also marks the required skills. She then creates a crew. Lee knows she will need three people, and so she sets the minimum crew size accordingly. With the crew in place, it's time to add crew members. This is not a fixed team, and so Lee notes how long each person will be a member. Paul will be off on Friday, and so she adds Louise to cover for him. Next step for Lee is to create a crew service resource. Service resources is the object managed on the Gantt. Previously, each resource represented an individual user. Now service resources can also represent crews, allowing service appointments to be assigned to them as well. Finally, Lee adds the newly minted work rule that enforces service crew resource availability to her scheduling policy. This is important because otherwise the system won't distinguish between individuals and crews. For crews to consider service resource member skills, one box needs to be checked in the general logic setting. To test her functionality, Lee creates a sample work order with the new work type. Appointment booking returns slots. But who is behind these slots, individuals or crews? She tries the candidate's action, and sure enough, the only candidate is the newly created crew. She assigns the service appointment and heads to the Gantt to see it with her own eyes and test the new exciting features there.
The system is now ready to support the complex crew use case, and Lee reports readiness to deploy the new service in her territory. <laughs>